Welcome ladies and gentlemen to our sciences film practical of friction. Now of course friction is the force that opposes motion when two objects move against each other and uh, we're going to be looking at three uh, features um, in relation to friction. One is the surface texture, so how rough the surface is. The other is surface area, how much of it is in contact and then the load which is how much weight is on top of it. As usual uh, there will be a practical write-up come up on the screen so if you'd like to pause this um, and then switch it on when you are ready to go. Okay ladies and gentlemen, now um, in order to measure force what we're going to use is one of these things which is called a spring balance or a Newton spring balance. You can see that it has a spring there, we put, the, uh, we put the load there and then we measure the resultant force down this particular scale here and obviously in this case we're using Newtons because Newtons is the measure of force. When you get this you've always got to adjust it and calibrate it up to zero so your results are accurate so you basically screw this on, on uh, this, this screw up, up, up the top here, up or down in order for it to get zero so that's zero there as we speak now um, here's our Jarrah block that we're going to use to drag across our surface so we're looking at uh, limiting friction which is the friction or the force required to overcome friction um, from um, being stationary and we simply pull it along and we end up with about four newtons of force obviously what happens is uh, once we have the object moving then the friction becomes a little bit less um, but we're recording the friction um, that it takes to start it moving so about four newtons with the rubber mat we change over to sandpaper pretty rough looking sandpaper and well, we go around about five newtons of force there and you can see it's actually pretty difficult to try and get it to move um, over here with our glass um, that's at about 1.5 so that's actually quite easy so with in relation to surface texture um, and in terms of the roughness this uh, sandpaper is the roughest um, cork mat is second and then we've got our glass so our surface texture of the rubber mats four five for sandpaper and 2.1 oh sorry five uh, 1.5 for glass now in terms of load and surface area okay I'm just going to put those ones aside and I'm just going to use the bench because the bench again as long as we use the same bench for each time that'll be sufficient so in terms of uh, surface area we calculate surface area by the length times the width okay and on your write-up it's actually got those numbers there um, you can actually take this a step further and graph it if you um, if you wish so we're going to go on this uh, surface this surface and the surface around the side here that we're going to to do so um, let's have a look at this one here okay so again we're overcoming the friction and we're at about 2.2 newtons of force let's transfer it now up to uh, on its side and let's go through the same again and again we're at about 2.2 and then we go this way Um, and then we need to go this way again and we pull it and we're at about 2.2 again so um, all of the three surfaces actually have about the same amount of friction now in terms of load we're going to go back to the standard on its side and we're going to go um, our weight added onto the uh, piece of wood now we know that just dragging it by itself like that gives us about 2.2 so what we're then going to do is we're going to increase it up a little bit so we're going to put a weight on and we get down to about 3.5 with that one um, with one kilogram on and adding another kilogram on um, well that's in excess of five so um, because it's right at the bottom of our chart there so that's that's more than five so you can see 2.2 uh, without the um, weight on 3.5 and then over 5 for the total um, load of 2 kilograms 
Um, again, uh, please complete your write-up. If there's any questions or concerns that you have, please go and um, see your contact teacher and uh, have yourself a lovely day.